there is only one team in the NFL winless through six weeks. That, of course, is the dumpster fire in New York that goes by the Jets. Sam Darnold is regressing fast, and it's not surprising considering the majority of his offensive weapons may not even make another NFL roster. The disaster and dysfunction from sucking could benefit enough to get Trevor Lawrence at the NFL draft, but that doesn't help the root of the problem. Adam Gase. First of all, please do subscribe if you enjoy the video to make sure you don't miss any future uploads. It really helps us out and allows us to continue to make content for you guys. 2020 has already been a year to forget for the New York Jets and their long-suffering fans who are two years into the Adam Gase experiment. The Jets have a serious chance of going 0-16 this season and forever being compared to the 2008 Lions and 2017 Browns. The Jets have been outscored by 110 points already this season and have scored an average of 12 and a half points per game compared to giving up an average of 30.8 points per game. Every team in the league has managed to score 100 points already this season going into week 7, that is, except for the Jets, who have only managed to score 75 points. For reference, let's take a look at those two teams that have managed to go 0-16 though. Well, as bad as the Lions were in 2008, they scored 16.8 points per game, still 4.3 more than the Jets threw 6 games in 2020. On the other hand, the Browns in 2017 lost their games by an average of 11 points per game, 7.3 less than the Jets have managed to be defeated by in 2020. Safe to say that the Jets have a chance to go down as the worst team in NFL history if they continue on this trajectory. Sam Darnold has been the hot topic in Jets news, and although the narrative still somewhat blames Darnold for the Jets' struggles, it feels like it's well known he isn't the root of the problem. He showed some promise in 2019 after returning from Mono, but in the four games he's played in 2020, he's been a disaster, passing for 792 yards and three touchdowns to four interceptions. Darnold has looked bad and already been labeled a bust by some. However, we've seen this before, like literally the exact same thing. Jets head coach Adam Gates is in his second season in New York, but he had previously spent three seasons as the head coach for the Dolphins. He went 10-6 and six in his first season in Miami, and that is still, to this day, the only head coaching season over 500 for Gase. He had the pleasure of coaching Ryan Tannehill during his tenure in Miami, during which time, Tannehill was promptly labeled a bust and someone that was said to just not be able to get the job done. Well, after Tannehill was traded away to the Titans for 2019 and escaped the wrath of Adam Gase, Tannehill broke out. He led the league with a 117.5 quarterback rating and an average of 9.6 passing yards and route to making the AFC Championship. Through six games in 2020, the Titans are 5-1 and one, and Tannehill is on pace to throw for 42 touchdowns. While Tannehill has been thriving without Gase, Gase is coming off of a bout against his former team in the Dolphins where he and the Jets were blown out 24-0. The Jets are currently the only team in the NFL without a single win, meaning that they could likely finish the season as the worst team in the league and secure the number one overall selection at the 2021 NFL Draft. That pick obviously entails the chance to take Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence. He is the full package, prototypical quarterback size, good arm, and ability to run the football. Lawrence is a special prospect without a doubt, and if given the chance to take him and move on from Darnold, it may be in the Jets' best interests. That being said, the reality is that even Trevor Lawrence won't save the New York Jets. In the words of Jackson, when the best wide receivers of your team are Jamison Crowder, Brashad Perriman, and Josh Doxson, you have a serious problem. He, of course, speaks from personal experience as a Washington fan. It doesn't matter just how good Lawrence is if there isn't anybody remotely competent to throw the ball to. Past Jamison Crowder, the Jets' top receivers this season have been Braxton Berrios, Chris Hogan, and Jeff Smith. There's a solid chance that most of you non-Patriots fans have never heard of Berrios before. You also might have not realized that Hogan is still playing in the league after Brady, and Smith, well, Jeff Smith just sounds like a generic name you give a telemarketer to get them to leave you alone. On the ground, the Jets' number one rushing weapon is the ageless 37-year-old wonder himself, Frank Gore. Safe to say that this offense is horrible, and I'm not even sure Patrick Mahomes could succeed with this lack of talent. The Jets will likely be set to continue to struggle and potentially ruin the career of Lawrence if he does indeed land in New York, and that reality stems from Gase. In a season where Bill O'Brien and Dan Quinn have already been fired, it is baffling that Gase still remains. It felt like Gase was on the hot seat and O'Brien was simply never going anywhere out of Houston. Perhaps the difference is in the front office. When J.J. Watt complained and got all over O'Brien, it reportedly led to his firing. When Jamal Adams complained about Gase, he got traded to Seattle. Perhaps the most frustrating part of Gase is that 
he sticks with his scheme no matter what. The best teams in the league cater to the best players on their team, like the Titans using Derrick Henry to anchor their offense, or the Seahawks allowing Russell Wilson to, in lack of better terms, cook. Gase has, for whatever reason, completely neglected to change his playstyle up to fit a player. A prime example of this, of course, is Le'Veon Bell. Bell was a star during his time with the Steelers and was the ultimate dual threat running back. Gase ended up completely misusing him, and Bell quickly went from having a 4.9 yards per carry in 2015 and 2016 to only 3.2 in 2019. Bell was released on October 13th, despite signing a four-year, $52.5 million deal in 2019. A lot of criticism has come on Bell, but this really goes on Gase. Andy Reid will find the correct way to use him with the Chiefs, because he's a good football player, and seriously, I'm so glad I never have to watch Gase run Bell up the middle 20 times in a game into a terrible Jets offensive line. Bell is one of the many pieces of the Jets offense to magically disappear to help make a previously bad offense get even worse. Aside from Tannehill, Robbie Anderson is another former Gase project to escape the wrath of the Jets. Anderson never went for over 1,000 yards during his four seasons in New York, and only had over 800 once. He then signed with the Panthers in the offseason who, to be fair, are not great. However, he's emerged as a star in a competent offense and is currently on pace for 1,500 yards. Perhaps no other Jets players have been as critical of Gase than former safety Jamal Adams. Adams was traded away to the Seahawks in July after requesting a trade. Adams was very critical of Gase and made it known that he believed that he was not the right leader for the Jets moving forward and did not have a good relationship with people in the building. Well, sounds like he was right. There is a long, hard road coming ahead for the Jets, although the last decade feels like it's been long and hard enough. In fact, 2020 will mark a decade since the Jets have made the playoffs. New York managed to not only make the playoffs in 2010, but made it all the way to the AFC Championship after doing the exact same thing in 2009. This of course means that the peak New York Jets of the 21st century was when the man himself, Mark Sanchez, was in town. A lot has happened since then though. The best case scenario for the Jets in 2020 very well may be to suck enough to the point where not only does Adam Gase get the boot out of town, but they secure the selection of Trevor Lawrence along the way. While Sam Darnold has potential and is surely a starter in the NFL, the opportunity to take a franchise-changing player in Trevor Lawrence makes the decision easy. Perhaps the Jets should ensure that they keep Gase until the end of the season. Instead of willfully tanking, tell him to coach to the best of his ability, and the Jets might go 0-16. The New York Jets are the NFL equivalent of a hot steaming pile of garbage. Sam Darnold has been disappointing, and this team as a whole is painful to watch. But we all know that the real root of the problem comes down to Adam Gase. If the Jets want to look towards the future and potentially at Trevor Lawrence, step one needs to be getting rid of Gase and beginning to build up a new coaching staff. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you did enjoy, and if you want to stay up to date with Jackson and I, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We love interacting with you guys and appreciate the support.